In this video, you'll learn about the largest extinct insects that ever inhabited our planet. Have you heard about dragonflies with wingspans the size of a toddler's height? Or maybe you have information about 2.5 inch ants? If not, let's get started. Toddler sized dragonfly. However, hundreds of millions of years ago, Earth was a completely different place. There was more than approximately 10 to 14% oxygen in the air than today. Although almost all animals need oxygen to live, an excess of it can be toxic. In this period, insects likely increased in size to control oxygen consumption. Having larger bodies meant they could better tolerate the high levels of oxygen in the air than if they remained small. Moreover, there weren't many creatures at that time that could restrain their growth, perhaps allowing prehistoric insects to become significantly larger than their modern counterparts. Among all the huge insects discovered by scientists, there is a creature resembling a dragonfly. It was first discovered in the late 1930s and holds the title of the largest prehistoric insect, Meganeuropsis permiana. A fossil of this creature is currently housed in the Museum of Comparative Zoology, used as the basis for naming and describing this species. This long extinct giant emerged about 275 million years ago at the end of the Permian period, approximately 45 million years before the first dinosaurs appeared. Based on the reconstruction of partial fossils, the wingspan of this insect was likely up to 2.5 feet long, roughly equivalent to the height of a one-year-old child. During its lifetime, it weighed more than a pound, about the weight of a soda can. Meganeurops is another species from the extinct group of insects, Meganeura, are commonly referred to as giant dragonflies, which is somewhat misleading. It's more accurate to call them griffinflies due to certain structural differences that distinguish them from their much smaller counterparts. One of the biggest differences between griffinflies and dragonflies is the pattern of veins on their wings, while Meganeura insects had nearly identical patterns on their forewings and hindwings, modern dragonflies do not. Hummingbird-sized ant. If you're not scared yet, the next information will remind you of that feeling. When people hear about ants, they usually imagine something small. However, mm. despite their size, most people know it's better not to mess with them. One example is the aptly named bullet ant, whose sting causes an incredibly painful sensation comparable to being shot with a firearm. Now imagine an ant twice as big, Titanomerma lube, an insect nearly 50 million years old. It was approximately the size of modern hummingbirds. A specimen of this species was stored in the Denver Museum of Nature and Science for some time before the curator showed it to paleoentomologists who immediately recognized it as an exciting find. It's worth noting that despite its size, the specimen was not the largest ant ever found. The queen of a still-living ant species is slightly larger. Unfortunately, little is known about this ant except that it had wings. Much of its features and lifestyle remain a mystery, however, one thing paleoentomologists can say about the species is that it likely crossed the Arctic land bridge to reach America from Europe at a time when the Earth was warming up. Largest Six-Winged Insect Continuing to introduce you to large insects. During the Carboniferous period approximately 311 to 307 million years ago, a huge insect called Mazathyros enormous fluttered its wings over certain land masses, now known as Illinois. It was discovered in a fossil layer in Maison Creek, which provided the source of half of its genus name. The other half came from the Greek word thyros, hmm. meaning hinge. Based on what scientists know about the behavior of these arthropods, it's believed to have been actively mobile. Tiny, delicate bodies of prehistoric insects don't often go through the fossilization process. Fortunately for paleoentomologists, sometimes traces of their hotter body parts and wing imprints are preserved. This was the case with the species. Based on very fragmentary remains of the insect, scientists were able to estimate its size when alive. Experts say its wingspan reached 22 inches. In fact, these are the largest of all representatives of the order of large-winged insects called Paleodictyopterans. Paleodictyopterans had sharp beak-like mouth parts that may have allowed them to penetrate plant tissues and suck their juices much like a straw. 
Scientists call them six-winged insects because, in addition to their main wings, they had tiny wings near the first pair of legs. Giant Japanese Honeybee The Japanese archipelago of Ikijima Island became a kind of mini gold mine for paleoentomologists. Yeah, Sedimentary deposits formed under ancient lakes nearly 16 million years ago yielded many interesting specimens of fossil insects. Among them is a now extinct species of prehistoric honeybee whose size rivals that of the modern giant honeybee found throughout South Asia. Apis lithohermia was a large honeybee that lived during the Miocene epoch. Its remains were found only on Ikijima Island. It is the first prehistoric giant honeybee ever found. In life, it was likely an active flyer with front wings measuring 0.47 by 0.18 inches and a body length of 0.7 inches. Its species name is a combination of the Greek word lithos, meaning stone, and the messenger of Greek gods Hermes. Strangely enough, the discovery of this stone messenger with an open nesting site improved humanity's knowledge of insect life in the Middle Miocene, nice. especially regarding theories that the region had a warm climate during this epoch. Fast Flying Chinese Darners Many of the giant insects that inhabited prehistoric Earth either resembled modern dragonflies or were somewhere on their evolutionary tree. Take, for example, Apiachna lucida, an insect 12 million years old named the largest insect ever to exist in the Cenozoic era, which spans the period from the extinction of the dinosaurs to the present day. The insect boasts a wingspan reaching 2.6 inches in length. It likely zipped across the prehistoric landscape of what is now China. They were probably carnivorous and insectivorous with well-developed vision that allowed them to easily track their prey. Scientists substantiated this by noting that dragonflies see faster than humans and can see all around, dedicating four-fifths of their brain to visual processing. Like some modern dragonflies, this insect also likely reproduced by laying its eggs in water. However, more than anything else, this darners demonstrates how much or how little some things can change over 20 million years. Giant Among Giant Ants Let's go back to prehistoric ants. Despite ants' general reputation as tiny creatures, large species of these insects still exist in the modern world. For example, it's known that female Dinoponera ant grows to about wow. 1.6 inches. According to the World Atlas, they're among the largest surviving members of their family. However, a significantly larger species of ants lived approximately 44 to 49 million years ago, whose scientific name unmistakably means giant ant. Titanomerma gigantea lived in the Eocene period, settling in the rich tropical forest that surrounded the prehistoric landscape. Based on their fossils, male worker ants reached a maximum size of 1.2 inches. Meanwhile, queens reached 2.4 inches in length and had wings spanning up to 5.9 inches. Experts believe they also lived in huge colonies. Scientists were fortunate to find well-preserved specimens of these massive insects, allowing them to learn quite a bit about how they lived. Entomologists determined that although these giant ants were incapable of stinging, their main method of self-defense involved emitting formic acid. This is a trait they share with some modern ants. Additionally, they had no reserves in their ant hills. This led experts to conclude that they likely consumed only fresh produce and stored nothing for later. They were carnivorous and cooperated with each other, working together to kill and consume animals much larger than themselves. Giant Griffin Fly Time and again, paleontologists prove that even the tiniest fragments of fossils can tell much about a creature that lived millions of years ago. Even more remarkable is when these paleodetective skills are applied in entomology, as in the case of Bohemia tupus elegans. The only fossils that allowed scientists to determine details about the size of this insect were mirror-imaged fossil imprints of segments of its forewings and hindwings. These giant flies lived in the late Carboniferous period approximately 315 to 307 million years ago. A specimen of this species was found in the Czech Republic and the Radnice River Basin, hence the name Bohemi. The experts who described it were so impressed by its excellent state of preservation that they named it after the Latin word elegans, meaning elegant. 
In life, this particular specimen would have had a wingspan of about 10 inches. Interestingly, the specimen studied may not even have been an adult insect. Experts stated that an adult fly likely had a wingspan reaching an impressive 20 inches in length. Massive blood-sucking pseudophilia from dinosaurs Moving on to another type of insect, despite their size, fleas are usually a serious nuisance for both pets and their owners. These non-flying bloodsuckers have incredible jumping abilities and can transmit a range of diseases to humans. Although this may not bring much comfort to animal lovers, it's worth noting that 165 million years ago, dinosaurs faced a similar parasite problem. Mate the Pseudopolexis, a group of flea-like arthropod parasites that compensated for their limited jumping ability in almost every other way. They were gigantic, about 10 times larger than the average dog flea, and flattened, which was perfect for clinging to their gigantic hosts. They also had long claws that made it easier for them to grab a sleeping dinosaur and settle between any protective scales or plates. Once in place, they could unleash their main weapon, a powerful and sturdy mouthpiece piercing the skin which was a Jurassic version of the hypodermic needle. Due to their similarities, there is a temptation to classify them as ancestors of modern fleas. However, experts believe that these prehistoric parasites may have simply evolved in an extremely similar way and actually belonged to another group of insects that became extinct along with their favorite prey. The largest of the lace wings and I'll conclude my story with prehistoric butterflies. Before the emergence of these winged insects on Earth, there were calligramatids. This group of prehistoric lace wings thrived in the early history of Earth. Although they looked remarkably similar to modern colorful butterflies, they actually took different paths on the evolutionary tree over 300 million years ago. Their shared characteristics simply demonstrate how animals from different groups can independently develop similar traits over time. Among these butterfly-like beings, the largest was a species called Mecarcinia adamsei. Discovered in Brazil and described in 1997, it fluttered among the flora and fauna of the mid-Cretaceous period approximately 122 to 112 million years ago. It had four wings ranging from 5.5 to 6.3 inches. This means they had the largest wingspan among all lacewing insects, living or extinct. Interestingly, this also turned out to be a young ancient butterfly and it could have grown even larger. According to scientists, members of this species likely have the same feeding mechanisms as modern butterflies. An elongated mouth part that they use to suck nectar and other fluids from the plants of their era. In conclusion, I'd like to say the following. If this topic interests you, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more. I have more to tell you. Also friends, you have the opportunity to join our team. If you have skills in video editing, can voice videos in Russian, English and other languages or write interesting scripts, we'd be happy to work with you. Write to our Telegram bot, the link is in the description.